Aquarius, how you doing? Welcome to your weekly reading here on the Astro Flower, going from the 15th through to the 21st of July. Hope you're doing well. Um, did some uh, energy uh, videos uh, on the channel. Don't know if you've seen them. Um, there'll be more coming out about uh, those sort of things uh, this week and for the future. So yeah, if you want to see them, they'll be on the channel. They'll also be linked around my head at the end of this reading. But uh, it's good to get a good perspective of what's going on in the energy around you. So then it's much easier to see how you are playing with your energies. OK, uh, so let's get on with your reading for this week. Overall energies here. Karmic message on your relationship side. Karmic message on your financial side. Influence on the universe. Influence on the uh, past self. Influence on the future self. And the message that comes out of this week here. You've been on a roll. You've had some really good readings, actually, uh, Aquarius um over the past few weeks really finding your feet in life it seems really nice let's just see what's going on with the overall energies here there seems to be um seems to be an event that's happening outside of you uh so it's not an event that you have created or is happening directly to you but you seem to be the person in the position to deal with that situation and i think that's it's like you're it's i'd like to say you're a superhero you know that's what i'd like to sort of say yeah there's a the overall energy here is bringing in uh, the moon it's a surprise um i get this event it's like and it's not like a major, 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 major event, you know. It's it's pretty big, but you know, it's it's probably not going to make the news. Um, but you know, it's it just seems like this surprise event that that puts you in a position that you wouldn't expect, but at the same time brings a lot of your qualities to the surface. Emotional as much as logical, as much as um uh physical. You know, it just brings a lot of things to the surface. Really, really nice. And it could be, you know, it could be quite literally um, helping someone out and it ends up that that person becomes your partner. You know, it's that sort of thing. Do you know what I mean? It's like it's like an event that you become the superhero in the situation. Let's just see what's going on on your relationship side. Your over, your, um, the universal energy here is playing into the lesson of this week. On regards to your relationships, your spiritual path and your emotional path. Um, and obviously that means it's going to be bringing in coincidences, which are going to help to elucidate the, um, the lesson that you need to learn and illustrate the understandings that come out of this week for you. So, uh, you know, be very attentive about these coincidences around you. The karmic path is playing directly into your future. It's like on a, an emotional sort of level, spiritual and relationship side, you are um, you're, you're 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 going forward, um, or you should be going forward. Your karmic path is taking you forward, and it's actually taking you forward quite quickly. Um, it's you know you're with confidence. You should be stepping into situations with confidence here. I think that's what the karmic message is sort of saying there. You know, realise how good you are, Aquarius. You know, that's the thing. Uh, from your past to your future, your past is playing into here. That's weird. Hmm. Yeah. It's almost it's as if like, um, like over the past few weeks, it's almost as if you set yourself up to be the point of reference. Therefore, when a situation turns up, which is pretty difficult, which is a bit of a disaster or, you know, some sort of thing. You end up being, this is because this is why you end up being the superhero, because it is the position that you've created. And in your future self, it's really nice. There's a lot of, um, all I can see is da, 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 like a celebration. It's a celebration of you in a way, which is really nice. Um, let's see what the lesson is for this week here. Yeah, you've got a lot more in you in your tank than just being reliable and everybody relying upon you this is that whole sort of thing about being a super person you know a superhero karmic message here yeah i think this is where you're walking you know this is walking to the uh, future 
You get the five of swords here. Yeah, you've walked away, or you you know you've you've walked away from internal confrontation. I think more than anything else, and you've chosen a direction to follow, and that follow as you know you're going to stop, or you've got to, or you should stop having sort of conversation, internal conversations that are detrimental to you more than anything else. Yeah, because look at that. The universe here is bringing that whole sort of understanding that you are far deeper and greater than, than most people see you. Um, and I think you're getting an opportunity to show this uh, in regards to relationships, emotions or, or, or spiritual path. The, the king of pentacles is obviously sitting in a very powerful position, but it's built upon knowledge and understanding and study. And I think you've done a lot of that. And I think the universe is reiterating this, that, um, that idea. Um, from your past, yeah. <laughs> okay, so I, li I like the four of cups, actually, because it's like distilling these three cups into this one cup. That's what I get, you know, um, reminiscing about things. And this one cup here is that sort of like, it's allowing you to be that superhero. It's it's a lot of things you've distilled in your past that's put you in a position of respect amongst your relationships, among the people that are around you. And if that is the case, then you should really be stepping up to the plate. And yeah, look at that, stepping up to the plate. And that is your future. That's why you want to walk away from these internal sort of conflicts or conflicts with other people. It doesn't really serve anything. It doesn't really get you anywhere by being conflictual with them. Just allow them to, you know, you know, if, if someone is determined to have a fight with someone or an argument with someone, they'll find someone to have an argument. And it's you're not that person, basically. Um, and you should be standing in your power. And this is going to set you up as a superhero, as I say. Look at that, the sun. The sun and the moon uh, on the moon card. The moon is eclipsing the sun and it's something that comes in that sort of eclipses the light. And it's almost as if you walk up to the moon and kind of go, hey, get out of the way. I want the sunshine. What are you playing at? You know, I want I want, I want my summer here. And it's that's that whole emperor. In the future, you're going to own it like a superman or a super, superhero. Um, and, uh, you know, the, the emperor owns, um, he controls his empire through physical engagement. So we're getting to this whole sort of like body, mind and spirit. That's his approach to it. Whereas an emperor uh, approaches it as spirit, mind and body. You know, it's a different way of approaching things. And uh, what's happening in your future in regards to your relationships and stuff like that. And this is very much a spiritual path than anything else uh, this week for you. Uh, you're owning it in the future because I think this is where you've walked away from any sort of conflictual sort of sun, sun, you know, situations because you're going into happiness. And I think this is where the, you know, the um, superhero aspect comes out of it, really in, in regards to the relationship sort of side of things. Very, very beautiful. Um, and, you know, it, the overall lesson of learning about your happiness and allowing the sunshine to shine in your life is really, really good. Let's just see what's going on on the financial side. When your karmic mission is already pulling into the universe, there seems to be a lot of coincidences seizing upon opportunities that are being provided for you. Uh, it, it sort of goes between your future self and your lesson. And it's the universe is sort of like... It's almost as if like the universe has got its own particular direction here that you need to follow. And um, your karmic path is to follow the universe and follow the coincidences that are happening around you. Your past is playing into your karmic path. So this is creating like a vortex here that then pushes right up to your future self and right between your future self and your and your um, lesson for the week. And it's sort of sort of saying your past is sort of saying um, it's done everything that you need to do in order to get the best out of life and your future self. That's very um, solid. It is split into two things here. And there seems to be like something that you've been working on or you've you've been doing for some time, which is good. It gives you that foundation. And then there's something in the future that 
opens up more doors, as it were. Um, and it seems to be tied to a decision that needs to be made out of this week here. You're worth so much more. And it seems to reiterate the message which comes on, on the relationship side here. I think generally here, I think um, you're having this sort of like internal glow up before the external glow up sort of scenario. You've got to know how good you are before everybody knows how good you are. And it doesn't mean like you're walking around kind of going, I'm the greatest, leave me alone, you know what I mean? Whoa, don't touch me. And that sort of thing. It, it That doesn't work like that. So... Um, yeah, it's, it's more sort of like, it's just knowing how great you are. Karmic message, um, here, Ten of Wands. Yeah, I think it, 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 you've got to let go. I think you've created a lot of things over the past year, almost, uh, at least since your birthday season. It's been incredible the amount that you've created and even goes back further than that, but You've created a lot. You have engaged and created a lot. Now it's a case of um, maybe not necessarily you creating it. What you've created is a wave of energy. And now you have to just allow that wave of energy to open certain doors for you in a way. With the universe, Ace of Cups. Look at that. As I said, you've got this vortex of energy that's coming in. Let's see what's in the past. New world. Yeah, that's where you need to let go of that. And allow that to happen, <laughs> you know. Um, and this is from your past. So you've obviously created a whole new situation where you have all the elements that to your um, at your fingertips. And now the universe is creating this beautiful opportunity, which is very fulfilling to you. Not just on a physical front, but also on an emotional sort of front. But in order to have that, you do have to let go a little bit of the control of the situation and allow it to happen. Bizarrely enough, there seems to be a repetitive, um, repetitive message that's coming out in a lot of signs, actually. And it could be a conjunction between certain planets and so forth that is bringing this forward. I am not an astrologer. I will tell you now, I am a healer. I observe physically energy. I see, you know, energy fields around everything and i've been saying that for 30 odd years and i do healing that's my main thing i you know i i'm very interested in astrology but i'm not an astrologer you know and the astro flower is something i created out of the healing thing but anyway back to you the ace of cups is 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 that whole sort of thing about uh enjoying there seems to be a great offering here that just brings not only security, but absolutely um, satisfying, satisfying results in your life in the way of finances. And in the future, follow that cup. This is my card of evident path, the seven of cups. Like all sevens in, um, in the tarot, for me, they're like the revelation. They're revealing to you. And this revelation is to do with your emotional engagement with your physical world. And there's only one cup giving you the good stuff. There's other cups, you know, there's other cups that's got sort of, you know, snakes and stuff like that in it. And it's like life. You look at life and you've got lots of possibilities. You know, some of them difficult, some of them easy. But eventually you'll just fall on one that says, it's obvious I should be doing that. And that's the evident path. And I think in the future, that's what it's sort of saying here. As I said, this card was sort of like flying between these two here. So let's just put it there anyway. And look at that, you get the Nine of Cups. Just realising how good you are, the amount of attributes you have uh, going through you. And this is just by following the universe, following the coincidences that are around you. I think it will bring you enormous amount of not only satisfaction, but also... Um, you know, financial rewards, and it's going to bring you um, a lot of um, uh, kudos, you know, within the world. Absolutely lovely, really. Absolutely lovely. Let's just see what's going on with the Lightseers card, shall we? But the superhero thing is is a strange one on, on the relationship side. It could be on the spiritual front as well. Ah, well, you know, it's with the moon... When things do come to the surface, it's starting to reveal what works for you. You know, there's one pentacle that's that's still in a bag. Yeah. And I think the moon is sort of kind of going, well, let's reveal the unseen. 
so you can see what is um what is you know what is clear and if you can see in the other pentacle there the other pentacle is actually looks like a moon doesn't it do you know what i mean and i think this is what it's doing here it's 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 helping you on your relationship to reveal something that you never knew you had within you and i think that's the superhero factor um on the uh, financial side it's much more of a sort of um it's revealing to you um you know yeah how good you are there is a bit of a superhero factor on it uh but also how you can really um enjoy life in a completely different way you're going from the five of swords to the ten of pentacles within your karmic path knowing you have all the abundance means you don't have to prove it to anyone anymore and i think that's what the main thing is here and i think that argument needs to stop now uh within you sort of saying you know i need to prove i need to prove my love i need to prove how good i am no you don't no you don't you only just need to know that within you that's all you need to know and you are fantastic uh, aquarius and you should know it and all of a sudden you're going to become that superhero and everybody else is going to see it <laughs> they are going to see it look at that with the king of pentacles you get the three of cups the world is going to see everyone is going to see and look at the past here you got those three of cups there that you're distilling into that one cup right yeah the ultimate dream the ultimate happiness this this shedding of the the light on the situation and here with all the confidence the universe is actually bringing you in a whole new set of three cups you're learning a whole new set of stuff that's going on in your life really really beautiful for you really really beautiful um let's just see what's going on with that four of cups a leap of faith in your past this is where i think you need to have faith in yourself more than anything else and I think that's what that is really all about. And it's all about the karmic path is order to learn it. Um, what is going on here? Um, and um, yeah, you, it's like you're you, within you to be that superhero. You have to distill all your excellences within within that one path. And I think you're doing that with that, um, that uh, full card. It is a bit of a leap of faith. And the Fool's come out quite a lot, actually, recently. It hasn't been out for months. I haven't seen the Fool card for ages. At one point, I even thought I'd lost it. Um, but now it's out there. And, uh, you know, in your past here, you have taken a leap of faith in the past, I think. And now it's you, you've got to start realising how good you are, you know. With the Emperor, you get the Ten of Wands. Twice you've got the Ten of Wands now on the table here. Don't carry too much on your shoulders. Um, if you carry too much, you're not going to be able to be that excellent superhero that you should be. So in order to be that sort of like that brilliance for the world that is around you. And I think this is where this this super this thing that's happening around you seems to come from there. It's as if like. Um, it's something connected to your past. Uh, you know, it's something connected to your past, like. Um, like someone you knew uh, gets themselves in a pickle, has an accident, and you get them out of the car, and then the car explodes. You know, it's that sort of thing. You know, I think that's pretty dramatic, but it's it's that sort of thing. Do you know what I mean? It's just it, and it reconnects you with someone you you knew before, and you've been planning this. It's sticking to the plan. It's sticking to the. It's sticking to this. The abundance that can come into your life um through this is um you just being you know you standing completely within your your happiness and your power is going to be absolutely brilliant you're going to be um you know you know how to do this you know how to be that superhero and it's not just for you it's for everybody that is around you and it becomes natural it's not like you're doing it to be a superhero it's just a natural thing that you're doing. And that's going to change a lot within your spiritual path and your relationships. Because there's no one-to-one -one relationship stuff here going on. Uh, there's no real sort of like, it's not talking about love here. It's really talking about spiritual path here more than anything else. And it's absolutely beautiful. Really nice in the sense of a beautiful pathway. With the Ten of Wands, you get the Five of Cups. Yeah. 
I think if you keep getting in the way, you are going to be disappointed. You need to get out the way a little bit, take a little bit less control in life um, or less control on the financial side of things. If you're trying to control everything, uh, that's where you may, you know, it just you may you may slow things down or even just break the momentum in in life and you need to not do that yeah the the look at this you get the nine of pentacles down at the bottom from the universe as i said it's playing up to here and you get the nine of cups at the top there and it's that cup that's showing you that way it's helping you to be laser focused on when the opportunities are ripe and ready for the taking that's when it becomes the evident path. It becomes obvious that this opportunity is ripe and ready to be taken uh, for you. And it's so I would really sort of like pay attention to that sort of side. You get the well card with the well card. Totally. I think you've definitely um, you created a whole new paradigm in your life. You've worked incredibly hard. And this may give you that illusion that if I am not controlling everything, it won't work. It, yes, it will. And this is, I think it, what, it, what it's trying to do here is trying to give you kind of like support in a way, uh, Aquarius. Uh, you know, if you're going after a job, if you've been working on yourself, you know, it's now like the, you know, there's a job that's going to be, it's like you apply for a job and it just sort of like happens without you even realising it and you end up with that job. You know, things are going to work for you, depending, it don't, you know, doesn't matter where you're starting from. Um, but if you've engaged in a, like a business and so forth, you know, obviously, and you know what it's like. Starting a business is a lot of hard work. Um, but like, um, and now you've got to a stage here where you can allow that business to start providing for you. Yeah, this is a judgment moment. Definitely a judgment moment. You um, answering your inner calling. And that's what the evident path is about. It's, you can't avoid it. You can't avoid how good you are. <laughs> you can't avoid how good you are. You know, uh, Aquarius. Definitely. Look at that. <laughs> the top you get the Ten of Swords. With that Ten of Cups. That is dead, done and dusted with. The disappointment of the past. Don't look to the past. Look to the future. The, the future, this is the funny thing, is with the Five of Cups, <coughs> excuse me, with the Five of Cups, normally there's three cups that have, that have gone over, and that's those three cups that in the background there. She's holding on to one cup, and there's another one when she's playing with it with her foot. And it depends upon you, basically. And once you get the realisation of what works for you, and that's what the Two of Pentacles is all about, all of a sudden, that's when you can replenish those three of cups and that's what's happening there it's realizing that you know uh some aspect of your total control of the situation is dead done and dusted with and you're now allowing things to flow it's like let's say like you're surfing yeah so you're on a surfboard you start paddling away you know i don't know if you've ever done surfing but um you know you start paddling away like like crazy and then you get the, the back of the board that sort of goes like that. And it almost pushes the board in that sort of sense like that. And that's when you know the board has been taken by the wave. And now you've got to just stop paddling and get to your feet and start surfing. You know, and I think that's what that side is all about. And that's tricky because if you give up paddling too quickly, the wave would just go through and you would have lost the wave. But I don't think this is the case here. I really don't think this is the case here. And it's, you're letting go of, of a way of having to paddle every time. In the future, you, I think you're going to work out that actually I can just join the wave here without paddling now because you've done the work in the past. It's a very, very progressive side to your life. And there's an attitude that needs to be dead, done and dusted with. And I think it's that attitude there. Let it, let it linger in the past. Don't try and save the world, man. You know, you can't save the world. I can't save the world. We can, though. And in order for that we to exist, you have to exist in your own right as much as I have to exist in my own right. Therefore, we can exist. And that's when we can save the world. Anyway, there you go, uh, Aquarius. Thank you very much for being here with us. I really do appreciate it.
Uh, I appreciate all the support you show through the YouTube channel, uh, through the YouTube system. Really very, very, very nice. Don't forget about those energy videos that I was saying earlier on. They'll be linked around the top of my head or on the channel. In the meantime, it's all for me left to say is don't forget, life should be fun. So please do enjoy.